I'm Don Savela, publisher of Exhibit City News. What you are about to see is the latest news of the trade show business each week. Here's this week's news with our anchorman, ECN Eddie. Thank you very much, Don, and welcome all. Here are the stories we're following. Incoming Miami Beach Mayor Philip Levine called off redevelopment of the Miami Beach Convention Center District. A new city commission elected in November 2013 unanimously voted to terminate negotiations with development team South Beach ACE. The original city commission took two years to award the bid for a $1.2 billion project that would have included retail shopping and a parking garage. Mayor Levine hopes to renovate the Miami Beach Convention Center rather than redevelop the entire convention district. The new proposal will still scout possible locations for a nearby hotel. Officials at the Massachusetts Convention Center Authority said a credit card breach may have affected trade show attendees in the Boston area between October and November 2013. Approximately 8,000 attendees at the American Society of Human Genetics in October and another 13,000 at the American Public Health Association in early November could have been directly affected. Officials say hundreds have reported unauthorized charges after visiting Boston. The Briar Group, which owns two restaurants connected to the convention center, apologized to the public after confirming its computer systems were hacked. Customers' names, credit card numbers, expiration dates, and security information were captured from the card's magnetic strips. Emerald Expositions completed purchase of George Little Management from Providence Equity Partners for $335 million. GLM has approximately 130 employees and operates out of six U.S. offices. It has some of the largest trade shows in the U.S. spanning a wide variety of interests. The purchase price, including transaction expenses, was funded by $200 million of debt and a $140 million equity investment from Onyx Partners. Emerald Expositions was acquired by Onyx in June 2013. McCormick Place, the largest convention and meeting facility in North America, completed an Internet and Wi-Fi upgrade. That should make a lot of people happy. The convention center will now offer a wider range of price points and service levels for guests with greater Internet connection needs. They will still provide complimentary basic Wi-Fi service throughout the exhibit floor. All services and improvements should be completed by March 31st. Exhibit and Event Marketers Association, also known as E2MA, signed a co-marketing agreement with Epsilon, a data solutions company. The E2MA partnership with Epsilon fulfills a key element of the overall E2MA mission, providing tools and technologies that drive measurable outcomes from face-to-face -face marketing efforts, says Jim Worm, executive director of the E2MA. The agreement is called an affinity partnership. A variety of reports from market research and analysis will be provided by Epsilon to E2MA members at discounted rates. And those are the stories at ECN Live this week. I'm Don Savela, publisher of Exhibit City News and Trade Show Lifestyles. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to share the good news using hashtag ECN Live on Twitter today.